Hello, it's me and... Son of me. Son of me. <laughs> Noah, and then we're here to add to our... What did you get to be so funny? Add to our unboxing collection. This one comes from one of my favorite modders. One of my... Who might be a fodder for all I know. Actually, I think I used that joke. I don't know. Never recycle old material. Because then you'd be a politician. So, see what this is. What do you think it is? Could be anything. It could be many things. Oh, I love it when this happens when I get more than I bargained for. I don't know. I don't know. I know what one of them might be. Aha! Ho ho! He he! You have anything to contribute to that? All right. Aha! Aha! This. Notice I'm going knifeless because I think everybody has been afraid of my of my limbs. Oh my gosh! Okay, here's what this is. This is, it's an axis cube, obviously, but it's an axis like no other. I, I always like to build the uh, collection to things that have not been seen. Now, you've seen me with, if you have, with a uh, 4x4 axis, 5x5. This is a, wow, this is stretching the limits of axisness. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a six layer axis cube. Uh, boy, I, I gotta tell you, since Diane, uh, since Shang Shao came up with uh, various different uh, layer puzzles, the movement of these mods are so smooth. Say what you want about the kind of puzzle it is, it really puts out good mods. So, anyway, this is a shape shifting axis cube puzzle type thing. And it's six layer, which means I gotta deal with parodies. I haven't had to deal with that in axis puzzles since the. Uh, since the four layer one, which uh, which I have a video on. So there's a little bit of a learning curve here. Let me see if I can take this to a, so here's the edges here. Wow, okay, here's the centers and edges. If I move this in the proper place, I should be able to do, to do a shape shifting turn. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can, I don't know if I can. Aha, ho ho, move it beyond this. Okay, so is see this tiny... Shift? It does, it does, but I'm trying to prove that it does. I just need to... Like I say, it takes me a little while to get used to the specific... There we go. To get used to the specific motion, but you can see it's really nice and smooth. That's so. scrambled to me. Yeah, it looks scrambled to you. Scrambled to me too, actually. Mm -hmm. Wow. Alright, so, to add to the collection of Axis Cubes, this is a world record six-layer Axis Cube. Now this, I have no idea what this is. Another small challenge for you, if you can see that. Hmm. What do you think it is, Noah? I don't know either. I'm very excited because it's a surprise. And I like pleasant surprises. How often in life do you get pleasant surprises? Like when you do your homework. Mm. That's a pleasant surprise. I think and not doing homework is pretty fun. You think not doing homework is pretty fun? Yes, I would imagine you think that's pretty fun. Wow, this looks like a jumbled up... Aha! It has come scrambled. Wow. Now here's what's interesting. I don't know what this is, but it's scrambled. So the challenge for me is to solve this and see what it solves into. So uh, it has a look to it. It has kind of what I would say a fissured look about it. Uh, and I wonder if it's a Fisher cuboid. So, uh, huh. I think it might be you now a Fisher cube. It has the same type of centers. It's got centers here and uh, here that are of one type. So uh, yeah, okay. Now I'm wondering if I should just try to solve this for the first time on camera. It's a very very smooth puzzle. Like like all of his like all of his puzzles. So okay, so I'm going to turn this and see see what I've got. Well, I'm going to work with this a little bit, but I think what I have here, I think what I have here is a Fisher cuboid. So, thank you. I will I will rise to the challenge. I will solve this and show you guys exactly what this is. But uh, like I say, well, what the heck? I'm already I'm already into it. I think this is supposed to come down here. Turn, 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 turn and turn. So that's good. And now this guy is going to wheel over here. Turn, turn, turn. Turn, 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 and down. Okay, 
I've got the first two layers. Now I have a line here, F R U R I U I F I. Now I'm just going to roll these guys in so we can see it in all of its glory, or gory, depending on what we've got. Turn, 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 turn. This turns over here, turn, 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 bang, zoom, pow, splat, zoom, Bang. Splat. Oh, did, did he eat my cantaloupe? Okay. In grapes. In grapes. All right, so we're about to see the native shape. Okay, so yeah, so I think this is a one, two, three, four, five. This is a uh, three by three by five. Three by three by five Fisher Cuboid. This is uh, fantastic. So I will go through and uh, do a solve and scramble and take it from there. Thanks. They're watching. watching. Hello, it's me, and it's time to add to my unboxing. Or in this case, unbagging. Huh? And clutter my house. And clutter your house. <laughs> yes, of course. More cubes. Anyway, the infamous knife. You notice I have all my fingers intact. I hope to keep that way. All right. That was. Actually, all I needed, I thought he was going to make it a challenge in terms of unboxing. Anyway, this one comes from Raphael Deluni. He is an uh, incredible builder. He's a hand modder who uses many different tools of his trade. He uses three-dimensional printing. He uses uh, sheet material. He um, is among the more professionally minded. Uh-oh. All right. Yes, he did make this a challenge. But I think I've learned from my previous unboxings. Learned that I should probably not make unboxings. Okay. Time to dip into this here. All right. Very good. Not so good. And, uh, all right, we're getting there. Whatever could it be? Now notice, with after all these unboxings, I've yet to actually injure myself. At least that part's been edited out. We have more bags. What could this be? It could be anything. It could be anything. Well, it's not just anything. It is more bags. Wow, he packages things nicely. This this looks like something interesting. This looks like a, a little bit of a break from my usual collection. Wow. This is a uh, unique. See what it says, unique. It means I don't think another one of these are going to be made. This is a uh, I think it's called a Tetrakis. It is a, obviously a 4x4 modification. Very typical of um, um, Raphael's work. Incredibly smooth. I mean, you really have to move it to believe it. Now, notice that the color scheme is... Um, it, the, it appears that there's only six colors, perhaps, because I see yellow and yellow, yellow and yellow. I can turn this here, and this matches up over here. So there, there appears to be multiple solved states. Wow, this is incredible. Uh, does it shape shift? This is one of those modifications that does not shape shift, much like the rhombic dodecahedron. Some modifications shape shift, which uh, brings that aspect of the challenge, but like the rhombic dodecahedron, this uh, tetricus does not shape shift. And what's interesting is that it can have potentially multiple different solved states. There's this over here with, I guess, two oranges. You can have similar colors here. And not similar colors over there. Well, I'm going to have a lot of fun with this one. My question is, what kind of parodies am I going to get with this? I'm going to be highlighting his work. Uh, the movement is, is really, really good. Uh, wow, I cannot compliment enough Raphael's work. So, anyway, watch for more things from him in the future. More on this later. Thanks for watching. Hello, it's me, and it's time to add to the unboxing. Oh, and uh, Noah. That's right, Noah. Sorry about that. And Noah's mom. mom. Alright. So, uh, pulling out my infamous uh, finger cho chopper. Well, it hasn't been yet. 
and see how well and how quickly we can do this. Now, my suspicion is that the one who sent me this knows <clears throat> the difficulties I have with these unboxings, and I think maybe may play on that. But in any case, here we go. I, I actually don't really know what this is. I have some suspicions, but uh, not too sure. Actually, this one is surprisingly easy to unbox. You think like it's uh, like a two by two by three like. I don't know. It's wrapped in more foil. See if there's anything else in here. Okay. Wrapped in paper bag. Easy to tear. Easy to see what it is. Pretty compact. This is from uh, all the way from Vietnam. This is my ghost cube contact. And let's see if we can get through this. Now, what's your favorite kind of puzzle? For me? Yeah, you. I'll say the um, three by three. Just the three by three? Yeah. What do you like about that one? This is the first cube that you got into. That's right. You got that cube that the four by four and the five. And it like just five, went off in there. Seven, oh, I am very excited about this. I am very excited about this. Yes. So, oh, 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 and he even partially scrambled it. Well, this is a, this is a rhombic dodecahedron, I believe. I'm gonna work out some of the stiffness here. Let's see how many, of, is this a rhombic dodecahedron? My favorite one is the one that has the jewel inside. Oh, the one that has the treasure chest, the one that has a jewel. Actually, this is not a rhombic dodecahedron. Let's see what this is. This is a one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven. This is a this is a seven layer. Is that scramble? Uh, well, it's got some scrambleness to it, but this is a uh, seven layer puzzle. Uh, so this is a seven layer rhombic dodecahedron. So uh, this would be the four layer here. I got a three layer s uh, somewhere, but you can see this is a side over here. Four. Here's a five layer here. Uh, another great puzzle turns over here. So this is the next step up. It's a seven layer um, rhombic dodecahedron um, This is among the harder uh, well one of the first of the mainstream mods that, that I found you can see it's a little bit on the scrambled side here So I'm gonna have a interesting time getting it back. I don't think it'll be too difficult to, to try to get that back over here. So Rhombic dodecahedron, seven layer, and you're probably asking, where's the six layer? Well, stay tuned for that. Anyway, we'll put that in line with some of its brethren, some of its cousins here. All right, thanks for watching.